Hello friends! Happy Sunday! I think it's Sunday. <laughs> Someone let me know if it's Sunday. I believe it's Sunday. Ah, uh, welcome along to the stream if it's your first time. Today we're going to have a wee look at this needle felting kit from Hamanaka. Ham and Aka. Ham and Aka. That sounds good. From Ham and Aka. It's a Shiba Inu dog. If you're new to the channel in total, I'm Pam Duffy. I'm here to help you craft your career with creative marketing and artistic inspiration. So we look at selling specifically on Etsy, but selling our creative wares and creative ideas for making more things. And I saw this kit on Amazon, no link, you can find it yourself on Amazon, found this kit on Amazon ooh, before the world went to crazy, been a bit busy, not had a chance to look at it, but we're going to give it a go today. Um, so, if you need all felt, um, I think this is going to be a fairly simple one to have the supplies, you just need a load of white, a bit of brown and a bit of black and your felting needles. So if you wanted to felt along... Um, but yeah, I'll have a look at the kit, see how this is going. Uh, before we get started, uh, let's a little bit of housework, say hello to everybody. So if you're in the chat, which side's it on? That side. If you're in the chat, say hello, let me know how your week's been going. Um, if you're looking to do the Pass the Creativity, Pass the Creativity, I've had a few videos for that so far, if you don't know what it is um check out my last live stream or check on ben mcfuzzy lugs on facebook for details of how to do all of that um but i've had a few videos still time for more if you're wanting to join in great way to get involved in the community and also advertise your wares slightly hopefully um so you create your video for me or videos it can be in two clips and i can edit it for you let me know what you want tagged your social media it could be your facebook page your youtube or your etsy shop or your own website whatever you want stick it on there and yeah we'll get that done soon it, it's looking fun already <clears throat> uh other things coming up i am finally going to get around to i probably told you all i did get accepted for the etsy instructors academy and um, this does not mean i'm paid by etsy in any way i do not work for etsy but they're giving us a free program of education um so i thought this would be kind of cool i can get it directly from the horse's mouth so to speak and then i'm expected to do um, webinars or seminars, well webinars, I'm not going to do it in person, I'm going to do it on YouTube, I'm going to do it here. So they're expecting us to give do some webinars um, to teach what we've just learnt. So um, I am planning out one of them and it should be in the next few weeks. Keep an eye out, I will, um, this is going to be slightly different from a regular live stream because to make sure that I can get to stay on the program, Etsy wants to be able to know about the people that join in the webinar. So there will be links to a free place that you have to sign up. It's all going to be free. I'm not going to charge. But you just have to sign up. And then during the live stream, you will have to sign in to Etsy. And then they'll give you some course materials and stuff as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's going to be the the gist of that so it's just the kind of thing it's not going to cost you anything you're just going to have to sign up to be able to get the link to be able to see the live stream and then you'll have to sign in and then Etsy will be able to give you like course materials and they'll be able to track that I'm doing what I'm saying I'm doing so I will continue to get all the training and also it seems that we get access to some secret tips and things which i will be letting you in on the latest one that i've just heard um okay shh, don't tell anyone i don't know if i'm supposed to share this yet but something that i spoke about um a little while ago i think in a video in january i said i bet you this thing's coming it's here it's in beta there's the possibility to add videos to your listings short five to 15 second video clips i'll go into that later but don't tell anyone <laughs> secret thing i just learned um so that's a new thing um yeah so 
when I get these links sorted out, sign up so that I can keep on the Eatsy Instructors thing and keep letting you know the secrets. Right, more. Um, this tonic water, I did think about fetching up some gin as well, but th this already looks like a seedy basement pub without me sitting drinking gin. <laughs> Let's see who we've got in the house. We have Lily Tree. Hello there, my dear. Good to see you. Uh, Charms by Marie. Hello. <coughs> A little bird Blythe. Hello there. Hope you're well. It's great you got on the Eatsy program. I know. Super excited. I actually thought I hadn't got on the program because the mail went into my spam box. And I had a bit of a a bit of a pout. And I thought, no, I'll be proactive. And I messaged them and I said... um when are we hearing about this and if I'm not on it I would love to be sort of considered if anyone drops out and they're like no no you're totally on it so phew so yeah if you think you've been looked over for something absolutely message them be proactive yes um can't think of anyone more appropriate to get on oh thank you so much that's lovely I'm I'm glad to be on it I'm um, hopefully the motivation's been back of there's courses that we have to go through and I have been a little bit not as involved as I should be but feeling a bit more positive about doing it all and sharing it all. Um, Karen, hi from Australia. It's 1am here. Oh, thank you so much for joining me then. Awesome. Um, <laughs> so tired but great to be here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's so difficult to find a time that's good for everybody but thank you so much for joining me. Right. Okay, I suppose I'm putting this off for long enough. Let's go down. Let's go down and have a look at this kit. <coughs> so this is all I know about it. It's a needle felting kit. Um, I hope there's some instructions I can understand. I should have checked this, shouldn't I? I have no idea what's in here. It does say with instructions. It's a Hamanaka felt dog kit of a Shiba Inu and there is nothing else English on this little worried um, and yet we can see the equipment that we've got and I think our directions are going to be in there can't put this off any longer I I remembered I was going to show them up here I don't need to I remembered to bring scissors um, Oh, Janet, hello there, um, from Wigan, England, yes, hello Wigan, um, Barbara, hello from California, <laughs> I was going to say that wrong, California, not California, <laughs> don't need to extra enunciate it, right, oh. I'm nervous about this because this little dog is so cute, um, and I don't want to mess him up, to be honest, um, but yeah, well, We'll do a dive in, a review of the kit, see if it's worth your money. I should have checked how much this was. I don't think it was a vast amount of money. It was a fairly cheap kit, but with shipping and everything, I believe it came from Japan. So it does get a little more expensive. But let's see what we've got in here. It's all packaged nice and firmly packaged in this little plastic envelope. We have... What do we have? So this is the front oh that is super adorable if you can see that it's showing you all the different angles of the pup that is adorable i love the reclining position oh with these little back feet can you guys even see that that is so sweet yeah i love that i don't know what size he's gonna be that's small even for me if he turns out to be that size right there's a blank bit of cardboard Oh, nervous. Right, well, let's look at the equipment first. Right, there's no needles in this, but I brought my own up. We've got two little plastic eyes for his eyes. <laughs> I'm good at this, and I? Uh, some white core wool. It's, it's not quite roving, but it is... It's like slivers more than bats. It looks really nice. Let's... It barely smells of anything. It's been quite processed. But it is nice. I've got to admit. It's not your horrible merino tops. It's it's nice. A uh, little bit of black. This is definitely a little bit of black tops. Looks coarse. I don't think it's merino. Looks good. And here's the little tan colour for the 
accents of the dog again that's tops and we've got how long is that about 12 inches worth of this nice tan coffee color right so now the nervy bit <laughs> what instructions do we have do they do a stupid thing am i done um well even if there isn't english instructions we might there is pic oh there, there's good pictures yeah i think so this is going to be the size of him okay 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 <laughs> yeah so it's showing make all the body parts check that you make all the body parts and then stick them in so yeah so here i can't read what <laughs> all these things are but that's kind of cool there's a tail there's ears that'll be his body shape um a head <laughs> <laughs> okay this is gonna be fun because Pam was an idiot and didn't check there was English instructions still the pictures look really good um we have we have even a size chart here um but it doesn't help so we're showing you how to roll them in the hand thing showing you how to roll it up felt it into shape yeah they look like awesome instructions <laughs> all right come on oh I'm an idiot well, anyway, this tells you, if you buy this kit, there's the instructions look fantastic. This telling you how to separate out the wool, like separating it lengthways and separating it this way. Yeah, the instructions look awesome. <laughs> oh, and there's a little to show you how to make a teddy bear and stuff as well. That's very cute. But that would be lovely to have instructions. It tells you about tools and how to use yeah felt going the needle going straight down and straight up not going down and then up at an angle and not bending the needle i i can i can get some of this due to the pictures but yeah we're not gonna <laughs> we're definitely not going to be following this exactly um but i think we can kind of kind of manage this if it's saying roughly that's the size he's to be let's let's think yeah we can do this. <laughs> oh boy. Um, well, there, there we go. These Hannah. How do, how did I say this? Well, the, these kits, awesome materials and really cool instructions if you speak Japanese. <laughs> so if anyone speaks Japanese, feel free to share. Right, just going to dive into the chat. Uh, where did we get to? Barbara, hello from California. Lily, <laughs> instructions. Pa, who needs instructions? I know. <laughs> oh, Janet, she does masterpieces. I love watching her vids. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, Jane, hello from Western Australia. G Morgan, hello there. Um, Oh, sound is odd, but hearable. Right, give me... Let's see if I can sort this out. I can't hear my sound. Um, Where? Ooh. Can I change? Uh, it's supposed to be coming through the correct mic. Um, right, guys, tell me if... If it sounds any better if I do that, right. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have to wait the three minutes while it takes <laughs> to do the delay. Let me know if I've improved the sound or I've made the sound worse. Do I have to say, do I have to done it? Right, is that better or worse? Oh, it looks very loud. Um, have I changed anything? Is anything good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with the sound. Um, Lisa, missed your last live. Good to be back watching. Cool, glad to see you. Um, yeah, if someone can let me know if I've made the sound better or if I've made the sound horrible. Let's. Yeah, it's definitely not coming through this mic. Or it's yes, it's coming through that mic now. So let me know if that mic's better. Too much technology, right? <clears throat> Okay, Lily, Lily Bird saying it's definitely better. Cool, we'll stay on that mic and you can go away. <laughs> I fixed it apparently. Cool. There seems to be something to do with my, this is my blue snowball mic and it doesn't seem to like going through my laptop very much. Oh, okay, we've got 
Little Bird Blythe saying it's better, G Morgan saying I fixed it, Lisa saying it's better, but Karen thinks it sounded better before. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, I can't hear any of it just now. Uh, Lily thinks it sounds better. Just now you're on my Logitech camera, which isn't the best microphone, but yeah, most people are saying it's better. So we'll just go with that. Sorry, guys. Right. So let's let's try working on this little dog. So <laughs> I don't. Yes, there's no. I'm sure it tells us the amount. I was just trying to see because I think sometimes Japanese when they're doing number. Ah, here we go. When they're doing numbers, sometimes they're in stuff that I can understand. Um, yeah. So that's, I think that's, is that the, oh, can any, <laughs> who can read Japanese? <laughs> okay. Um so I'm not really so okay we're, what we're gonna do we're gonna attempt to make the shapes that I think they're giving us here oh 14 millimeters that oh, dropped dropped the wall 14 millimeters yeah so it's eh. let's, let's just go with what they're giving us here and that will make a dog about that size which sounds good to me so I think I want, I'm going to go with about four times the amount of fleece to what we're going to finish up with. Wigging it. But I've wanted to do this dog forever. So I'm just going to roll it up into a body shape. And that's not bad. Um, get my stabbiest needle and just start a stabbing a body. I think we can wing it. I mean, this kit does look really cool. Um, I think you get. I've left my phone downstairs because it was being naughty last, time, and every time I, I said anything that it thought sounded like Google, it was talking back to me. So, my phone's been left downstairs for being a very naughty boy. Um, but there are apps you can get that translate when you hold your camera over foreign words. It translates them real time live, which is like amazing. But I don't have it so <laughs> and my phone's not here right so we're starting working on now it kind of says to shape this up the way so I'm gonna do it like that and that gives him his body and neck all in a one -er. Um, yeah they're quite simple shapes I'm hoping I'm gonna get it a little bit as cute as this this is absolutely adorable um, but yes, the di directions are... I messed up. I done messed up. I should have checked. But I suppose many of us will do that. We'll see the kits. It didn't say... It just said full instructions. It didn't tell me whether they were <laughs> actually English instructions. We can wing it. I think the, these photographs... I, I'll say anyone who's not like a total beginner, these photographs should be enough to kind of get there a bit at least. Um, gives us the shape, we stick the shapes together, we make a dog. That sounds right to me. <laughs> so how did I go on estimating body size? Not too bad, I think that'll felt down to, to the right size. So good start. I don't know if you can hear that my central heating which should not be on just now is making farting noises again wonderful thank you yeah so how's everyone's week been creativity and and everything else um weather's changed here it's definitely got a bit grotty but up until today i was trying to get in my my 10,000 steps a day um but it is oh, that's that's a long way to go me and Mia once we've finished that are kind of wiped out for the rest of the day so today we've had an easy one just a couple of times around the park and then doing a little bit of training exercises in the house and now Mia's off for a lie down while I get to work so yeah I think I maybe need to do some days with a little bit less exercise um Unfortunately, after all this time of being locked in, I've now started the online shopping things, buying myself some new clothes and stuff. Um, yeah, Facebook started to show some really cool things and I, I, I'm pretty confident I don't need swimming costumes yet. However, <laughs> I've ordered some. 
and some new shoes and some new all sorts of things um catching up on my etsy shop still that's about 18 months two years now that my etsy shop's been at what i would call capacity i could work harder but i've always got orders sitting there waiting for me um yeah so that's that's pretty good so that's that's at capacity for anyone who's um you know occasionally i get comments on my video saying you don't make that much money off of etsy <laughs> what do you know about it um but i don't want to just do my shop full time for anyone that needle felts it's it is quite rough on your on your hands and your wrists so i need to take a break that's why i've got other things but yes i have for coming up for about two years now i have always had orders waiting for me to complete so that's that's a kind of cool cool thing so that that's me capacity there um my my Mia's paw print shop I've not really put the work into I'll have to get back into that um my garden the tomato plants aren't dead uh salad leaves ones placed outside have revived themselves <laughs> once once placed a long way away from me my salad leaves have grown back so I now have spinach and rocket growing which is awesome I'll have some of that for me tea um strawberries are coming along i appear to have brussels sprouts i thought they died i have brussels sprouts <laughs> um apparently i don't get them until next year anyway so i'll just put them put put them in a corner and forget about them um as for videos as i say i'm planning this webinar of of eatsy things um if you missed that you can catch it in the replay what i'm on about there i'm planning this kind of looking forward to it i will as as ever i'll put forward the things that eatsy's taught us and that, there's been some really good interesting advice the first webinar will be on um social marketing for your shop which i think falls in really nicely with what people what i've been making videos on lately so i thought that would be a cool one to start with um and there's some really nice hints and tips as well for what to do during this situation that must name remain nameless else i'll get demonetized um but there's some nice some stuff i agree with there there's always going to be some stuff that i don't agree with or that don't specifically work for kind of me us um because quite simply they're given advice generic for like two and a half million shop owners so that can't that advice can't work for everybody it doesn't mean it's bad advice it's just just how it is okay we've got to start that for me that's not bad right let's try <laughs> and do a head um tiny bit more seems i'm going a bit big uh, i will come but this is my my stabby felty needle so everything's a bit bumpy looking just now i will smooth it out possibly later um lisa's been working on a, fo a foam rose garden oh sounds interesting is that like roses made out of foam you'll have to you have to share some pictures of that i have no way i can't even picture what that is but that's cool uh, Lily's been designing, ready to get a silver order in. Oh, exciting. Working with the quality materials. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds so cool. Um, yeah, I, I don't have the guts to work with proper expensive raw materials. <laughs> Thankfully, wool is so cheap that if I mess it up, it doesn't matter. But proper jewellery, that's, that's kind of proper scary. <laughs> But yeah, it's, sometimes I get comments from people talking about like needle felt and how they, they want like proper instructions and things because it's so expensive and they don't want to waste the raw materials. I'm like kind of, um, yeah, needle felt is probably, unless you go and buy the kits that are all fully carded merino, it's probably one of the cheaper things you can get started on so if anyone's thinking about starting with needle felting um check check on the kits don't don't go to hobby craft and get one of their hideous kits with polystyrene balls in it um not sponsored but the makers have good kits uh world of wool ha 
be careful with them they have some cool kits um but i bought one of their kits that i was super excited about i was going to make a camel and i didn't enjoy the instructions um they're very as you can see with me i start and then read as i'm going along i don't read everything so it sort of tells you to do something and you do it and then on the next page it shows you a better way for how you should have done it or that's that's what happened with me so i was getting i wasn't quite enjoying it but they have good um i do enjoy just buying packs of their multicolored wools and things it's good to get raw materials um other companies um in the uk that i also enjoy are wingham wool and there there are plenty of others so if you're looking for a kit go to one of these companies it might seem slightly more expensive you're probably going to pay i don't know i've seen them from about five pounds for something really tiny to get you started up to about 25 pounds or so so that's what you're looking to get started but you could get a big hank of core wool um for like two pounds and a felt needle for a pound or two plus shipping you know you can easily get a ton of stuff for like a fiver and just start <laughs> so yeah i waffled on a bit there <laughs> Uh, Lisa's saying, yes, uh, a foam rose garden is roses made out of foam. Awesome. That sounds cool. Uh, we'll send you a picture. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing that. Oh, Lily Tree, always get a bit nervous with silver, but try to see my silver days as a treat. Ah, oh, it's lovely to create with. I suppose, yeah, all different. I, I know very little about working with wire and stuff. If you have, check out Lily's YouTube channel. Um, but... I have noticed when I'm making armature for animals and stuff, the wires can vary very, very much and depending on the hardness and the thickness and everything really depends on whether they're nice to work with or not. It takes me forever to find a wire I enjoy working with. It seems, oh, do you know, most people, see when you get a kit or anything, when people send you stuff, most people are sadists with their wire they like stuff that's like super hard to work with whereas I prefer something that's a bit easier a bit more ma malleable um, which does have a challenge in its own right because then that means I have to felt it firmer for it to be able to stand up and stuff <laughs> but yeah different different wires different um, I don't think anyone would use in silver for the inside of a wool sculpture though that would be a bit crazy um, how are we doing? I have to shrink this head down a little bit <clears throat> And to me, it looks like the muzzle wants to be a little bit round and pointed. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure which which thing would be the shape for the muzzle, but yeah, we'll just do a small round and pointed thing. Um, I assume that's a front leg and that's a back leg, little dog leg <laughs> shape. Yeah, that looks like the back leg. Uh, yeah, just trying to figure them all out. We'll get there. We'll figure it out. Um, has anyone tried one of these? Not going to try and butcher the Japanese name all over again. But one of these kits before. Um, <coughs> as I say, pos no, did I do a kit of these? Um, thinking back, I did. I definitely had English directions. But I did a kit that seemed very similar to this. That I think I made a kind of monkey out of pretty sure i didn't do it live um so i took the pressure off myself there but i i have a feeling i did a monkey kit that might have been the same but yeah this little dog has been grinning at me forever he is super cute so i was just like yeah i've got to have a go at making him so yeah it seems like we don't have the world's best directions <laughs> but i should have checked that um but i think i i actually think kits with with this level of directions i think most of us could work from that we know how to make a circle we know how to make a I, famous last words i'm gonna make this is gonna be so awful right um i'm gonna just because that's what i prefer i'm gonna stick the head on already so they can i can start getting a feel for the shape and before they get too firm so 
start sticking head on and it seems he wants to look look off to the left a little bit which i find cute i do when i'm doing dogs i do like to if they have a little head head cock or they're looking in the direction it is a lot more nice more natural than if they're just staring straight ahead or something um even <laughs> even though dogs do some strange things um for those who who've got me on facebook um, my girl mia last night uh, people are mistaking my post and thinking it's a post of her sleeping but um she was actually lying wide awake making full-on eye contact with me with her tongue just like poking out and it just looked like she was blowing raspberries at me like i don't have to follow what you say mm. <laughs> and it was hilarious um yeah but <laughs> in general they they don't just kind of lie there <laughs> so um lily tree you can usually start with the soft wire then work hard on it i should probably do a video on that you should indeed absolutely i i think a lot of crafters would definitely benefit from knowing more about wire um and different types because i really struggle as i say i i often end up ordering loads from different craft places and i find a lot of them the firmness I like will often come in a wire that's too thick for me or all sorts of things and I end up just going to the garden centre and buying some garden wire. <laughs> um, the, other, the other type of wire I like is just florist's wire um, that works for me but yes knowing actually how to yeah Lily do, do us a video on wire so we know what we're doing. Um, Janet total beginner and most of my pieces oh especially my cats look like they've been in a car crash or hit by a frying pan <laughs> but i do keep practicing and following your steps janet cats are difficult um most of my cats still look pretty bad to be honest um i do did i did release the video yes of um i have enjoyed this needle felted kittens book um oh, who's that i'll just give you a second longer on camera this book has been very helpful although i am not that good <laughs> that, that's ridiculous um but it, it's a good book and it's helped me a lot but all i've found is just trying lots of different things one thing that i found that really helped me with the cats strangely enough was spending a lot of time working on doing human faces i think that's a lot of the problem with cats is the same problem that you have with humans it's kind of that uncanny valley thing cats have a more sort of human-y face and if you can you can go cute 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 and then you get too close to right and it starts to look really freaky um whereas sort of dogs you get away with <laughs> um but yeah i totally agree um but lily yeah cats are notoriously difficult yeah it just takes practice um we did so this time last year we did a whole load right i'm just going to switch to my other needle to smooth these a little bit so that's getting too far um we did a whole load of videos on different types of cats um i made oh i was going to do a bag post i didn't do that but did um some of the cute cartoon cats um megan mog cat just like practicing different ones to sort of find my own style of cat i don't think i've got there yet but yeah cats cats are difficult even even the goddess of felting seraphina um if if you followed her she's like one of the first people on youtube i saw i'd been felting for a while but she's one of the first people that i saw doing tutorials and she's she's a wizard um however i'm sorry sarah um sarah yeah I, i'm so sorry but um she did a video of a cat and it looked like it had had a small accident i won't lie her cat was not her best thing ever so if if the if the great queen of felting <laughs> cannot manage the world's best cat then uh, as mere mortals yeah i think I, I think that's fair so cats moral of the rambling story there cats are hard um uh, janet mouses and sheep are your favorite yeah mice mice are fun um 
I think I sold all my maces. I had some good maces, and that was using the Serafina's one of her tutorials to do maces. Um, I had a great lot of fun with with that. Um, I do. I I put her videos on and I felt along with her in real time but I make everything half the size of what she says so I, I do like little little critters which suits me I should start doing that with the makers thing that they're gonna kill oh yeah um probably next week I've got the makers box well not probably I do have the makers box for the sleepy fawn um, and we'll probably do that next week if anyone's interested but just just a thought because I, I tend to do littler sizes anyway. How do you guys feel? They're, they're away on telly. They're doing Create and Craft today, so they can't tell me off. But how do you guys feel? Oh, this is a strange looking shape. How do you guys feel if I did the fawn at half scale? Hmm. I think that could be cute. Whoops. And a totally different challenge. Oh, that's an interesting idea. And Janet, you've got the, the cat's book as well. Yeah. Um, well, I think <laughs> that, that's all we can do is, is work through. I, I, it's good. Um, but yeah, we need to have some level of skill in ourselves for that book to work as well. Um, that's, that's not bad. This is a little bit, mine are always a little bit bigger than I intended them to be. Um, and let's let's try making the nose, which that much, a little bit less. So it's kind of a big pinch. I'm gonna roll it. Maybe I was right. Yeah. I'm gonna roll it into a sort of pyramidy shape, so it's a bit fatter at the bottom. And we'll see. I can add more if I need to. Um, and we'll. No, I'll make it a bit firmer to start with. So it's a kind of round shape, but it's it's a rounded pyramid -y. No. Oh, I'm so good at describing shapes, and I it's not like Serafina goes a ghost shape, a taco shape, all this, and and I just go with the. <laughs> but hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Um, and we'll put it on and he's looking quite far over in that direction. There you go, little fella. Always better with a with a face on. Um uh, Janet, you love miniatures. I just done a walrus for my grandson and love to show you my progress. I'd love to see it, absolutely. Um if you're, I can't remember, if you're in Pam Duffy's Felting Friends, you can absolutely share there, or uh, Ben McFuzzy Lugs on Facebook. Um, you would have to post beneath a post of mine because that's a group, but I would love to see it. Yes. Um. <clears throat> Uh, Karen saying, I think that sounds good. I prefer the smaller ones. Okay, we'll, we'll cheat a bit and we'll do it. We'll do a smaller fawn following their directions, but sort of half size. I'm so sorry, girls. <laughs> but I, I'm running out of room on my shelf. Um, you guys probably can't see, but my fox is there now. Um, he is just nicely there and there's my rabbit but i'm running out of room on my shelves for, <laughs> for the big guys so yeah i i think a, a half size sleeping fawn would be really cute in my opinion i know the girls work so hard on awesome tutorials um and i will be following the tutorial um <laughs> lisa cone yeah there, there's a great name for it see see what would I do without you all because <laughs> I'm absolutely terrible at words um, yeah this is starting to look really bad so that that bodes well if they look bad that bodes well that they're going to be fine at some point and uh, now I do yes it does um, it does show you patching up things if they're not looking you know right to smooth out lines and things so putting a little bit of extra fleece on is a good thing I think I'll do that around his neck as well just to smooth out this I'm gonna say this wool is not actually it's not felting badly but it's 
not as super quick as I thought it might be because a lot of the the Japanese kit things their stuff is incredible um, but yeah this is this this is felting like normal mere mortal type stuff um, it does kind of picture hmm. trying to figure out with the nose it'll all be different once I put the rest on as well so trying to not make it too pointy it is rather cute Oh, and I thought they'd sewn the mouth on, but they're showing it being felted on too, which is awesome. Um, sewing absolutely works for people who can do things like that. I just prefer to felt these kind of things on only because it would mean I would have to get up and find a sewing needle somewhere in my house if I did otherwise. Um, but yes, our little, little chubby cone, that's kind of working. I am not sure. Right, definitely that's the two legs. That's the tail. And that's ears. I'm not sure what everything else is. <laughs> well, we can do legs, tail, and ears. That That's important parts of the dog. Um, if anyone can figure out what these other... That could be bits to go in... Hmm, shapes to go inside the ears. Okay, so here's what they're saying with the ears, is I make a tan and then put a little bit of... Yeah. <laughs> I planned this so well. Anyway, let's get on and do the front legs, I think. So that's a pinch, a big, big pinch. Separate it in two and roll it up. Will this make long enough legs? Perfect, I think. Uh, the most stabby needle and let's make rounded legs. <clears throat> hey. And again, I could have rolled up these legs a bit firmer, uh, which does help felt them a little bit quicker, but I'm not I'm wanting to keep them sort of smooth as well and get moving with this and do it kind of quickly. <laughs> Cuz putting the color over as well will really help felt it up and smooth it out. There's a kind of footy shape. Roll again. And I'm leaving one end loose as it shows, <laughs> as it shows in the very detailed destruct inst destruct instructions that I am sure are fantastic. And I'm an idiot. <laughs> no, well, as I say, it didn't tell me that they didn't have English instructions, but we can manage. We're going to make something cute, I hope. Um, is this going to be about the same size? It's not bad for me. So what else is everybody making? Um, I'm trying to think, what am I on just now? Oh, I've got, just got you, this little dog, to finish up and making a bit more fuzzy. Um, and I have another dog by another wonderful YouTube friend of mine. Um, I'll show you when I'm done with that so it's a dog that stars in stars in videos which is kind of cool uh, I'm trying to think what else what, I do I am trying to make some more videos for my dog training channel so if you're interested in seeing well I, I would say interested in seeing more of Mia I'm not um, I'm using my old stock f footage videos that I filmed of both my dogs a couple of years ago because obviously we're not getting out much well I'm walking but not going to beautiful locations so um, I'm using videos from that and videos stock videos and videos of my friend's dog that I've collected over the years so yeah but I'm still working on 
working on the old dog training channel if you are interested that's agile canines a k and the number nine um but yeah i'd love it if you could check that out if you're interested in dogs too right two front legs that's not bad they're sort of different thicknesses but it's good enough um and yeah, that'll... <laughs> oh, they look terrible just now, but yeah, they all look like this. So, same kind of thing, taking off a pinch, rolling it up, but this wants to be in a bit more of a dog-like shape. Um, oh, I see, so his paws, his, yeah, his toes are pointing down away. So I'm going to felt this up and get it a little bit firm to start with and then shape it doesn't tell us how to do this but yeah <laughs> so if you're wanting to shape pieces like this they do need to be a little bit firm to be able to hold their shape if I tried to bend this just now then it's not really going to do anything so get it a little firm and then start encouraging it in the shape that I want it to go in uh, G Morgan saying you got some 50-50 yak and wool yarn and making kippas with it. Ki what? What's? Ki I'm sure somebody's told me that before. Um, gorgeously soft. Oh, that sounds nice. I don't think I've seen yak fibers anywhere, and I've had all sorts of crazy fibers in the past, but yak sounds cool. Um, and it's wonderfully soft. There you go, Mum. A note for you. Look out for some yak wool. Uh, cool. I I know. Mum's used, we got some beautiful alpaca years ago from an alpaca farm we visited. Um, Mum got some, excuse me, <coughs> uh, Mum got some pure wool from New Zealand when visiting my sister of the place that they um, made all the costumes for Lord of the Rings, that wool. Um, what, we've also got some pure wool from wonderful weavers uh, in Scotland. So yeah, it's always fun getting different types of wool. <laughs> and Angora is always popular. <laughs> oh, Lisa, you've been um, working on face masks. Got your sewing machine out, made three, but I feel they need more work. I guess it takes a little bit of time to get the perfect, perfect the perfect pattern for those. But yeah, if you can make masks, it's always a good thing. Um, I can't. Although my mum did do some from an old t-shirt that worked quite well. I've actually ordered some masks online, but unfortunately everything um, is going really slowly just now, so I won't get them for a while. But in reality, um, I... I go out once a week to do my shopping and that's about it apart from oh I had excitement I had a young man in the house <laughs> I've, I have for the, those of you who follow you have probably seen me whinging about my internet has been down for a month now so finally they sent out an engineer and apparently the social distancing for that is, is simply he says can you come and stand outside and I'll go into your house <laughs> so I stood outside he went into my house and was in there about two minutes before he came out to tell me that no there's absolutely no internet getting into the house there wasn't a problem with anything on my end and they're gonna have to fix it from somebody outside so <laughs> I've waited a month to be told there's no problem at my end thank you but I, I had a visitor in my house how exciting <laughs> but yeah no masks or anything it was just literally he says can you step outside and I'll go inside <laughs> um, uh, G Morgan y oh Yarmuluk you're just making up stuff to make me say it aren't you uh, yarn uh, yeah but anybody that's <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing that's the place to go to to look for the the yak wool stuff 
uh, Janet just got some alpaca alpaca is wonderful stuff and and as I say we visited the alpaca farm um, when we were down in England and actually met the alpaca that the wool came from and everything they were wonderful I don't think the the company's not quite what it was they, they've got big now and they import a lot of their their yarn but we actually met the alpaca they'd just been sheared shorn sheared and they looked crazy funny so cute um but yeah alpaca wool's lovely and it's also nice um i'm gonna have to see about yak for felting with as well but alpaca's lovely to felt with it has it it takes a long time to felt felts down super dense and has an almost soapy feel to it it's really nice to work with um and in making jumpers and things it's supposed to be super warm because the fibers are hollow so it traps air so signs um yeah mum's seen the yak wool but not bought any yet um uh, g morgan alpaca is too fuzzy for my clients but it's very nice for regular hats yeah um as i said with with needle felting alpaca takes forever um but when when you get it felted down it is pretty awesome um so so I don't, I don't know in in other things with it oh yeah mum's saying that any the alpaca that you've had has been very smooth uh lisa oh thank you you could send me a mask when you've perfected them well once you get the hang of them let me know and i'll, I'll buy one off you definitely um and G Morgan saying the brands that you found um, have been fuzzy. That's strange because, yeah, they were very slick and lovely. I do. Actually, though, it, it depends because I did just over a year ago. I got some alpaca fleeces on just that were shorn off undealt with and stuff. And, yeah, there's a very big difference between baby alpaca and grown up alpaca. <laughs> um Literally, tree i do love internet providers yeah absolutely thankfully i'm able to log on see this is the thing apparently the internet problem is something outside my house so it's the supply it's the supply say it's like water or something but it's the supply coming into my house however i am logged in and using internet just now because i'm able to log in to hotspots in my area so someone else who's with the same company i can log into them and i have so somebody very close in this area probably my neighbors also have this are with the same company so it's only my house <laughs> i'm hijacking legally hijacking someone else's internet and that's fine thankfully um mum you've always used uk alpaca yep oh here we go pronunciation yar yarmulka yarmulka <laughs> i was like teach pam to read <laughs> right okay so these legs are kind of smooth ish so i'm gonna i'll start the bend first just bending it and then holding it between my fingers in the way I want and stabbing should hopefully start to form it into the bend that I want. I would probably ch tend to make the back legs more chunky than this so I might return and chunky it up. Um, uh, there we go, slightly and then bend out for the foot. trying to keep it a soft shape not do too too right angle to bend because that does look quite a soft shape um, <laughs> G Morgan maybe Americans see a fluffy alpaca and expect a fuzzy yarn <laughs> do you know there could be part of that they want a, a fuzzy type type jumper but alpaca tends to be quite a dense sort of fiber any of that i've seen knitted up the traditional what place does alpaca come from before i insult an entire nation um but the the traditional garbs of the people that historically um 
tinted alpaca. They're quite hard wearing, really cool outfits. Um, I can see them in my head, but I can't think who it's supposed to be. So I don't want to say it in case I offend everybody. <laughs> okay, there's a leg. <laughs> and the same for a second one. <laughs> I think this is going to be one of the ones, it looks terrible, it looks terrible, and then it's going to come together all in the last minute. And probably still look terrible, but we'll see. Uh, you can't tell on the small screen, but are the instructions in Kongi Japanese? They're, they're in, right. <laughs> Close up. For anyone, if anyone can read this stuff, because I certainly can't. I don't I don't know. They're they're in. I I don't know the different types of of writing. It, it's beautiful, but I can't read it at all. <laughs> so if anyone can read any of this, awesome. Um, but yeah, not even close on my end. <laughs> but I think the pictures are are pretty good anyway. So they're doing doing the job. Um and. That once we once we kind of have an idea about felting, then pictures tend are going to be good enough. I, I like this. Give. I mean, I'm, I've gone oversized, like not too bad, but I've gone oversized a little bit because I always do. But um, gives gives me an idea of of the shapes, build the shapes together, and then fine tune it. Um, so there. Yeah. Uh, Omon Peru, yes, exactly. Peruvian. <laughs> That's it. I, for some reason, that just word would not come to my head. I'm not sure what I was trying to say, but uh, that's why I didn't. I knew it wasn't whatever I thought it was. But yes, the Peruvian sort of jumpers and clothing is very colourful and very fun and very hard wearing. And I imagine very warm because it's alpaca. Oh, Jim Morgan, you can't read it anymore. So it's no problem. I, I, I don't think that would be effective use of all of our time for me holding up in the next section and waiting while while the lag in the in the live stream happens and you're able to translate it. No, I, I don't think that would be good. <laughs> All right, I really do want these back legs a little bit more chunky, so I'm going to do that. I'm going off piste already, <laughs> but I just think that'll be a bit cuter. So I'm just winding a bit more. Yeah, I'm happy with that already. Yeah, so I'm just going to thin it out at the ankle, but a little fatter, little tubby legs. And then we're going to stick the legs on and then it's ears, tail, making his face look good. See? Almost done, kind of. <laughs> no, it's still got a whole lot of fine tuning to go. Um, but yeah, happier with, with fatter back legs, definitely. Again, this is totally different from how I would make these things, so it's always fun to try something different. I tend to make the entire armature of a dog and then put the dog in the position um, once I've done with it. So yeah, this is kind of fun to see the, the distinct body parts, bug them together and see what we've got. So back, oh yeah, that's cute. <laughs> Needs work, but it's cute. So the back legs pop on like that. Do you know, years ago, with the back legs kicked out like this, I remember it years ago before I even owned dogs. Um, let's use stabby needle. Someone's, uh, I, I was somewhere, I can't even remember where, and someone's dog was lying with its back legs kicked out like that, and someone said, oh, that's that's a sure sign that that dog's a pure breed. Only pure breeds can do that. And I was like, seriously? <laughs> there is nothing magical and special that only a purebred dog can kick its back legs out like that. I was, see the, the strange things that people think. People, people are strange. And 
that leg goes that way <laughs> let's get the legs right and it's kind of bringing them in so they're sort of close curved in and close I'll work on that in a second it's a cute way to do the legs though because usually dogs will tuck their legs up under them but yeah occasionally they do kick them out I don't know if it's a Shiba Shiba Inu don't know if I'm saying it right I don't know if it's a Shiba thing to lie this way I've I've actually met one in real life um I've got a friend who owns an internet friend who owns them but yeah I'll have to ask do, do they sit with their legs kicked out <laughs> out the back is that is that a kind of normal thing get this in and curved a little bit it's kind of cute it is is going to be kind of cute <laughs> once I get it on and affirmed oh, I feel all the pressure to make this cute because if this looks rubbish then nobody else is going to have a try at felting it <laughs> and if it looks great then everyone will go yeah that was dead easy we're totally going to have to have a go at that going to have to have a go at making the Sheba okay back there <laughs> Now this again would be easier if you're wanting to do this. If you just had a little bit of wire and wrapped around that, then it would be easier to shape them. But it's all fun. And I guess the kit, they didn't want to add wire to it. Okay, so front legs going on. <laughs> now it's not felted enough yet, so it does look quite a bit crazy. But I have a feeling it's going to come out. It, it's going to be all right in the wash. Um, uh, G Morgan, that's like saying that a black tongue, tongued mal, mal, mal. <laughs> I can never say dog breeds names either. Is a purebred. Yeah, there's the the only way you know that if a dog's a purebred is if you saw its parents and you're absolutely sure they're the ones that that bred it. Um, bred it that yeah well that were bred to create it pretty much <laughs> okay this this needs a lot more work but there's something cute that <laughs> the legs are a bit big but I will smooth them out more okay but tail tail on sounds fun um, I think this is the shape of the tail so it's pointy and fat. It, it's a pointy curled fat cone. My wonderful descriptions. But yeah. it looks tail like. Um, and then we've got ears and covering the body. Yee. Sort of nearly there. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa's saying it's cute. Um, it, it, thank you. It's got quite quite a ways to go before it's cute yet. <laughs> Literally, as I say, I would sit th this body. I would felt it, or should I? Do, hmm. Should I do that? Should I go away? Would you guys prefer and watch me felt this all nice and smooth and get all? all that done on camera or would you prefer I took it away and did that off camera and then did the decoration bits separately it just, just let me know is is all the is all the felty bits <laughs> um too long too slow would you prefer just to see them them finished or do you want to do you want to watch all the felty bits all the steps <laughs> let me know in the chat what you think I was going to say time is precious, but for those of us sheltering, sheltering at home, quite often it, that we, we've got quite a lot of time. But yeah, I don't want to waste people's time when you're wanting to get to the good bits and I'm just sitting for like four hours. Um, <coughs> Janet's saying on camera. <laughs> okay, see pressure on me. <laughs> no, I, told, I, I asked and that's what I wanted to know. Um, but yeah, we've got a tail on. Um, wants to see all the steps. <laughs> Lisa's saying we've loads of time, so it's up to you. <laughs> okay, no, I, I get that. Sometimes it's nice to see 
everything as it's as it's going on um what i might do is break this down into two parts then so that we can because i don't want to rush him and make him absolutely rubbish i can see that this wants more firming up as we go along although just sticking the tail on sort of brings it to life a good bit more um it's it's actually coming together more than more than I thought but it does look for anyone if you're new to Felton and whatever they all go through really ugly steps and I know a lot of people will get to somewhere like this and they'll quit I'm going into a softer needle just to not do too big stabs um to make this smoother people will get to this stage and they'll say they're no good and they'll quit and it's just not the case it, it's not a case that you're no good it's a case that you stopped before you were ready um this you know i'm sitting going yeah this looks like a beginner did it um swap my needles again yeah <laughs> i think am i the only one i have days when i totally don't like any of my needle felting needles they're just all wrong um but yeah you're your pieces are never rubbish they're just not finished yet if you're not happy with it you need to keep going um so so yeah some when you're just starting out people would continue from here put all the colors on and then go oh no that's 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 rubbish that's not how i wanted it to be um so you've just got to keep on felting and keep on sculpting uh, there's there's no shortcut and i did think um a dog like this about this size would probably in general take me about two to three hours if i was just sitting in front of the tally you know it's it's a whole evening process so if you're getting a kit like this or you're felting along um i i would love anyone who wants to make make anything like this um definitely don't need to buy the kit if you've got the if you've got the wool line about but yeah take your time set yourself an evening put your favorite movie on binge watch some stuff on netflix or something and just literally sit and give it the time that it needs because even right even me sitting for a couple of minutes extra on the back legs i'm happier with them <laughs> i don't know if it's looking shibbery but i think it will once all the other bits come together um but yeah just firm up those front legs as well again i still want to shrink the back legs i think they're probably a little bit too long um and the whole dog's going to be way bigger <laughs> um it's such a satisfying noise when you felt yeah no i know it's i i should find a really good microphone and just do that a m a m s d r have i even got close to the right letters there um for those that don't know there's a whole massive community on youtube for oh i'm not even going to try and remember what all the letters mean but it's it started out it's it's i don't know if you'd call it a condition but it, it's people who get a real physical response to noises um and so it would be videos just focusing in on certain noise, like a felting noise would be great for it um i i think in a not cool way <laughs> an example of that amsr yes thank you g morgan um and in a not cool way from it a lot of people get an effect of like chalk on a blackboard um but it's it's not as nasty as that and then you know people it's like you get goosebumps from noises and things and so they started making like these really quiet videos focusing in on certain sounds of doing things um and then people started on it um just making videos where they're whispering or making quiet noises rustling bags and things and a lot of people use it as a relaxation thing when they're trying to sleep they'll put one of these videos on it's like a super good microphone yeah that might is that microphone on now don't know it's a super good microphone and people are just making noises into it and people find that like really relaxing um so they'll watch like hours of it it's so weird and then you have people i'm not good that's too weird but you have people like whispering into the camera and oh, weird um Oh, Janet, back in a minute, just checking the tea in the oven. Oh, what are we all having? Um, I... The downside of only shopping once a week is you don't know what the weather's going to be on the day. 
<coughs> on the day that your foods go out of date. So today I am having prawns and smoked sal smoked salmon salad. Sounds fancy, but they're going out of date. Um, so I've got some mayonnaise to make a sauce for them, and I'm actually looking forward to it. But nothing to cook today, so <laughs> I don't. When I finish here, I'll be starving and go and get my tea. Uh, yeah, so let me know what you what you all eating, so I can get some ideas for things to buy when I go shopping on probably Wednesday. Wednesday's my shopping day. Um, <laughs> Lily tree shrink or chop chop bits off. Yeah, and with felting, if you mess it up, you can totally chop bits off. But these are everything here is still so softly felted that I can totally just keep stabbing it and it's going to shrink um, a fair amount. It's still got a whole lot of shrinking it can do. But yeah, I could just literally... Oh, that sounds horrible. I just realised what I was about to say. So I could just lop a bit off the dog's leg and it'd be fine. No, that's horrible. Um, but yeah, literally with felting, if you don't like it, if something's too long, you can... I have in the past absolutely... More horses. Horses horses hate me but I have cut them down the middle and extended or shrunken them a bit when I get things um, the wrong size um, so yeah felting's awesome for things like that one thing I am terrible for you will probably find out when I get there with this is ears I always make ears too big I think I, I did I did a video it was one of my very early ones on how to shrink ears because I get them wrong so often <laughs> so there is a video on that somewhere oh, yeah I, wow I've been I started properly making videos on YouTube in about 2017 so I have a whole load and I've got to do my tutorial felting videos again soon I desperately want to make a video of how to make a horse because like I say bane of my life I generally have to chop them in half and do them again but I think a full horse is an awesome for a tutorial but just got to get around to it um, yeah, lost my train of thought there. So, so if I was saying anything that you want to hear what I was actually meaning to talk about, just let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat what I was supposed to be talking about. Um, but yeah, I think, right, just, just a little five minute babble there, just a little five minute chat. And already he is looking so much better. There's a little bit splatted out. More like one of my bookmarks than an, than this actual dog, but it's getting there. Just dishwatting these legs, and I think I think it's gonna look pretty good now. That's that's getting better. Uh, G Morgan, it's breakfast brunch time here, so egg and toast. Oh, sounds good. I have not had toast in years. Another thing, just about 2017, I went keto with my diet, which is like super low carb. And I have cheat days, I have some days where I have things, um, but toast, no, that was that, that, that was a big bad for me. Because literally you'd have to buy, I'd have to buy a loaf of bread to make toast and I would just keep on making toast, toast of butter, love it, oh, make myself hungry now. <laughs> All right, switching needles just to smooth out his paws a little bit. Oops. These front legs are a little bit floppy, but getting there. Again, if you're making this, it's much easier to control it if you just took little tiny bits of pipe cleaner into the length, slightly shorter than the length you wanted the legs, wrap the pipe cleaner with your core wool, um, and then that'll just be it teensy bit easier to control all of this but sometimes it's fun to challenge yourself to not use armature um i did used to practice like making standing sculptures and things with no armature at all it's tricky <laughs> it's a challenge uh, what i tended to find the main reason i use armature as well as making it a bit easier it helps me not get run away with the sizes it would be like every single creature I made would get bigger and bigger and bigger without armature and that makes it difficult to do it commercially if you I mean as it stands I tell people my animals usually run a little bit big because I lose control of them um, but 
if you have absolutely no idea you can I, I will make you something of a random size <laughs> yeah people don't want to buy that <laughs> so you kind of have to have to have an idea what you're going to be doing um edgy morgan you don't give a rip about carbs I look at it but life's short enjoy it yeah no i totally agree um it's not even for like weight loss or anything it's just i feel much better um my my nails grow like weeds i've had to i'm cutting them every week my hair grows so much better my skin is so, this is the weirdest thing like uh, you know and when you were when you were 14 15 if anyone told you you'd still be having having zits when you're middle-aged it's quite annoying but all that cleared up and actually my skin got a lot drier eating a lot more fat um and the other thing just the motivation and the ability to you know focus on running my own business and everything um you know it's, it's like my brain works a little bit better um so yeah it, it's worth it for not not eating toast unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> so yes it, it's not about diet and i'm not oh I, I, it's like oh what happens if you how how will you know if you meet a vegan they'll tell you um i don't want to be like that at all but that's that's just from my point of view i don't find it a massive hardship and the benefits are better but i certainly have not become a size zero or something since doing it that the weight loss claims are vastly overrated <laughs> Uh, Lisa, barbecue chicken for you tonight. Sounds good to me. Yep. Erica, hello there. Good to see you. Um, <clears throat> Janet, chicken roast dinner with all the trimmings. Oh, yummy. Sponge pudding and custard for afters. Lovely. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Uh, proper, proper Sunday dinner. <laughs> Yeah, one th I, I do. One of my friends had um, just said the other night they'd made Yorkshire pudding. Everyone in the UK will know what I mean. Possibly not the rest of the world. It's not a pudding, it's a savoury food. <clears throat> but yeah, she'd said she was making gluten free um, Yorkshire pudding. And I was like, oh, gluten free. Now, me and mum have tried to make keto yorkshire pudding and that hasn't worked yet we we will manage it one day we will get keto yorkshire pudding but yeah i do I, that i might do that next week that might be my thing not keto just regular like i say i have cheat days but yeah it can't be toast because i will <laughs> i will just eat all all the bread all in a one <laughs> lisa let's all go around to janet i'm there yeah Let's forget about all this social distancing nonsense. Sponge pudding and custard, that, that, that's worth it. <laughs> Erica, you take strawberries with bread. Oh, like strawberry sandwiches. Wonderful. <laughs> I have never tried that. <coughs> Bananas, nice. Well, sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah, Janet says we can all go. It's it's there, but she said that, so... We'll <laughs> yeah that possibly by the time i get there it might have gone a bit cold sadly <laughs> uh, lily tree hasn't done yorkies in ages oh, i know there used to be the carveries would do all the big yo roast dinners and you got the massive yorkshire pudding and all the the meat and everything but then they cut like it used to be you could go back and get as much as you wanted again and again and again and then obviously realized that people really can put away a fair bit of meat in yorkshire puddings so that was that was limited to the amount you could get but oh, yeah, those, oh, i love yorkshire pudding yeah i'm getting hungry <laughs> um lily saying dinner tonight here is stir fry fantastic love me a stir fry yep um uh erica i love your stabbing and not looking i'm in trouble when looking yeah i i do catch my fingers a little bit they just don't bleed that much anymore <laughs> it just takes practice um you start to get the feel uh, of where your your hands are in the world um so yeah it's it's just practice and it's laziness because i didn't i didn't want to 
apart from just now where I'm sitting at a table but in general I don't felt sitting at a table I just want to sit on my sofa in the sitting room and and craft away like that I don't want to seriously say oh it's time to go to work I have to go and felt so I would sit back with my critter on my critter on my hands and just relax and felt and then doing that it just kind of got more more relaxed and I was able to to felt without looking <laughs> which makes it so much easier because live streaming would be so much harder if I had to stop to read your comments I'd be like read a comment and then get back to stabbing so it does make it a bit quicker oh I think this little guy is coming together pretty good but I think what we're going to do because this has been nearly an hour and a half I will just work for the next we'll do 10 more minutes smoothing him up and getting him getting him naked <laughs> um, and sorted and then next week I know I said I was going to do the deer we'll do the deer the following week next week um, we'll finish up covering him covering him up and doing all the details and doing the ears and stuff but I think that's I, I want to take my time and actually make him good rather than rush through this um, because for all my complaining that there's no directions they're actually really good directions and I think I think they've worked pretty well so far it's not identical but that's a reclining dog in my book so I'm gonna as I say just make him fairly firm stop him where I'm sort of happy with and then next week the exciting scary bit to see if it works out but um, I'm confident it's gonna work out now um, Serena making me so hungry I know me too that's probably why I'm thinking I'll just do 10 more minutes then I'll go and get my tea <laughs> um, I G Morgan stir fry yum <laughs> yeah I I love stir frying myself. Uh, so too easy as well. Uh, G Morgan's thinking it'll be chicken or roast beef leftovers. Depends on the whims of others. Leftovers is awesome too. But roast beef leftovers. How does such a thing happen? <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I think on Wednesday I will have to check the weather ahead. What I keep doing, right? The weather turns. It gets all cold. And I've got a fridge full of salads. So the next time I go shopping, I go and I'll get like pork to roast or, you know, something that's going to take ages in the oven and make the house all cosy and smell great. And the sun comes out again. <laughs> so I end up with something that I'm really not wanting to make every single time. I am absolutely terrible at this planning ahead. The, the weather should really check. The, the weather should check with me at, at what it should be. And currently I, I have salads in the fridge and actually growing in my garden. So the weather should be salad with. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool if you could influence the weather and just say, oh, I want it to be a bit cooler for a couple of days. I'm going to have a roast. Sadly, no. <laughs> Okay, I take back what I say about this this fibre not felting too great. It's it's not as fast as some of the magical Japanese fibres that I've had, but it's actually it's not too bad. It's it's keeping its shape pretty well. It's as a as a core fibre, it's pretty good. Uh, no idea what it is, but it's it's taking on a shape that looks about right. Um, and yeah, if, if anyone's wanting to follow this at any point, there's your <laughs> there's your shapes that have made this so far. Um, I wouldn't say I followed them exactly. Well, I didn't go off piece too badly. I am actually following what they're telling me to. <coughs> um, oh, G. Morgan, you're cooking for two. There's always leftovers. <laughs> good good planning then <laughs> cool. um, yeah I'm just cooking for me well as I left if, if I'm cooking something big then I generally cook something like I do have probably tomorrow I'm going to be making a big uh, spicy coconutty curry I won't it, it's not a korma it's it's just a, a, my invention of lots of spices and lots of coconut and stuff um, and I make that and that'll last for as many days as I, as I want it to <laughs> uh, yeah so I suppose that 
that's leftovers, I guess. <laughs> Lisa agrees on the weather. How rude! Exactly. It it should consult with me as to as to what the weather's allowed to be. I totally think so. Arizani, hello there. <laughs> hey Pam and everyone, looking cute. Oh, thank you. Or did you did you mean the dog? <laughs> Yeah, he's turned out pretty good. Um, when when you get to the start to catch this, you'll see the wonderful mistake I made of buying a Japanese kit with absolutely no English instructions. But we've we've figured it out between us, <laughs> um, and it does actually kind of look like what it's supposed to. And this is quite a generous kit because I'm going to have all of this white left over. I'm going to have probably be a fair bit of the tan left over when we're done. I don't think there would be enough to make two dogs but there's definitely more than enough to make one which is pretty cool because it was just all in this teeny packet really. So yeah they've done a good job of packaging I will say for sure. Hi uh, Janet, I've loved chatting on here. Yeah, it's been great to have you chatting on here to different people while watching Needle Felting, just to remind me how I need to join Felting Friends. Yeah, absolutely. No, it is great to catch up with everyone and do something a little crafty together. Um, I wish I wish I could. I, I do Zoom meetings and things. It would be cool sometime to maybe do something with with more of us <laughs> actually together, but I'll have to figure out how to do that over YouTube um, but yeah <laughs> we will at some point we'll do something and actually be able to chat to each other if I can figure out how to do that but this this is lovely and I really appreciate you all joining me in the chat it makes it makes these videos so much easier <laughs> Um, I remember my first ever live videos where like nobody commented and then the first time people commented was like wow and then the first time that people felt it along with me and I think Lily was one of the very almost the very first um, uh, Erica make a puppy and Lily Tree could make a really tiny dog with the leftovers yeah I could I, I could make it a baby Good point, guys. Yay. Make a make a puppy Shiba. Shiba. Am I even saying this right? Shiba in you. But yeah, that's a cool idea. Thank you, guys. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> See, that's why it's good to have a community because you can you all come up with ideas that I hadn't thought of. Yay. So we can have, have mum and mum and baby. That's a cute idea. Well, we'll see how much is left over. Next week we'll find out how much is left over. Um, and we'll try for a baby. I'm sure most dog puppies, <laughs> most dog, pu most puppies, um, look a lot more like potatoes than they do look like their actual breed. So I'm going to, I'm going to be researching this week what Shiba Inu puppies look like and we'll try and make a puppy to go with the, with the mum. Although I thought this was a boy dog to start with, now it's turned into a mum dog. I think I am going to have to work on her face a little bit more. But I think, guys, <clears throat> I think we are kind of about there with where we're going to go to this week. So if anybody wants to join in, um, so you totally can just get some core wool, just some white wool and follow the steps that I've vaguely done here <laughs> and see if you can get yourself a reclining dog and then next week we will dress him up and who knows well that gives me a good idea if it takes if the next stage doesn't take so long we could make <laughs> we could make the potato <laughs> we, we could make the puppy potato as well um, if that works out so yeah that sounds cool we've got ideas but yeah I'll give you a couple of minutes to say goodbyes to everybody um, and then that will do us for today I am actually happier than I thought I would be we've got ears to go on the head's not quite how I want it to be yet but that will sort itself out um, as we go but yeah it's getting smoother once I get all the color over it as well it will look even better uh, that tail's a little bit floppy.
but yeah so <clears throat> but apart from that for the week coming up keep an eye out if you're not in the facebook groups ben mcfuzzy lugs or pam duffy's crafty friends I should sort out the links to the live stream for all you Eatsy sellers. Um, links to the webinar, make it sound fancy. I don't know, Eatsy's supposed to be sending me some teaching materials for it and everything. But we'll have links to that if anyone wants to sign up and join in with that. Um, it would help me a lot if you guys wanted to join in. Uh, firstly, because I know you guys know how to chat and there might be other people coming on that don't know how to use YouTube properly. So having someone to talk to would be awesome. And also it lets Eatsy know that I'm doing my job and speaking to a community. So they'll keep me on as a Eatsy instructor and then I can find out all the secrets. And if you missed the start of the video, I might have let slip a secret, something that's come into Eatsy that's in beta testing just now. Um, <laughs> um, Lisa, thanks for today. Enjoy your salmon and prawn. I will do. And you'll send a picture of the foam roses. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Lily Tree, you have a great weekend. Yeah, thank you so much for joining me. And ev everybody, but Lily, everybody, get your videos in on past the creativity. Um, I'm I'm sorting that out just now. I just remembered to film mine yesterday, so I'm behind. I tell you all to do it by Friday and I forgot so we'll have a bit of an extension um Erica I hope to see you next week yeah awesome thank you so much for joining in Jane thank you everyone <laughs> Rosani yay potato puppy <laughs> take care folks um okay guys yes I will I think that will do I will leave you all to it thank you so much for joining me have an awesome week.